Good morning, family. Today I'll be sharing from Matthew 28. I'm talking about Jesus' resurrection. I'm reading from the, tra the Passion Translation. I'll read the first 10 verses of chapter 28. After the Sabbath ended, at the first light of dawn on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to look at the tomb. Suddenly the earth shook violently beneath their feet as the angel of Yahweh descended from heaven. Lightning flashed around him as his robe was, and his robe was dazzling white. The guards were stunned and terrified, lying motionless like dead men. The angel walked up to the tomb, rolled away the stone and sat on top of it. The women were breathless and terrified until the angel said to them, There's no reason to be afraid. I know you're here looking for Jesus who was crucified. He isn't here. He has risen victoriously, just as he said. Come inside the tomb and see the place where our Lord was lying. Then run and tell his disciples that he has risen from the dead. I give you his message. I am going ahead of you to Galilee and you will see me there. They rushed quickly to tell his disciples and their hearts were filled with fear, awe and great joy at the same time. Along the way, Jesus suddenly appeared in front of them and said, Rejoice! They were so overwhelmed by seeing him that they bowed down and grasped his feet in adoring worship. Then Jesus said to them, Throw off all your fears. Go and tell my brothers, go to Galilee. They will find me there. I wonder how they felt walking up to the tomb on that day. After a weekend of mourning, they walk up expecting to find a dead body, but instead they find two men lying motionless as they have seen this angel of the Lord. And they, whilst terrified, do not fall down on the ground motionless. Um, they listen to him and he just brings them great news. And then they're invited in to see for themselves the, the truth of the news that the angel brings. In verse 6 it says, He has risen victorious. He has risen victoriously. Just as he said, victorious. He has beaten death and there is no longer anything that is um, able to be beaten by Jesus. But he has conquered everything. He has died and he has rise, risen again. So he, they are invited to go and verify for themselves. They are invited into the tomb. But it doesn't stop there. He then says, go and tell everyone else. Now that you have seen with your own eyes, go and tell everyone else what you have seen. And so they run quickly and they run in awe and fear and joy um, with the news that Jesus goes ahead of them, that they are going to go and meet him there. And then Jesus meets them on the way and is with them as they go to tell, saying rejoice again. He says, throw off all your fears, go and tell my brothers, go to Galilee, they will find me there. Throw off all your fears. And I don't know what fears um, it may be holding you at the moment. But Jesus says, I have beaten it. I am victorious. I have risen victoriously. Now, when you look at me, and it's only through looking at him, it's only through fixing our gaze on Jesus that we are able to throw off all our fears and go and tell people about who he is. In every situation that we're finding ourselves, it's only through fixing our eyes on Jesus, who has conquered death and risen again. And it's today, it, through this passage, that we celebrate Jesus is risen. He is alive. He did not just die. He came back to life again. And because of him, the obstacles we face, which are true obstacles, they are big and they are daunting and they can be scary. But because of him, we are able to throw them off with a peace that surpasses understanding and celebrate and tell others of who he is in spite of our circumstances. That is so exciting.
And I'd like to pray with us now. Father, thank you so much that you are um, our Father that that has risen, um, that you are our Father that has given us Jesus, who has risen victoriously. I thank you that we have a joy that surpasses understanding now. And I thank you that we are able to share this with others. Father, um, Jesus, I thank you that you did not stay dead. Jesus, I thank you that you also came and you showed yourself to the women and you gave them the evidence of the empty tomb and you asked them to share it. And I thank you that because of their willingness and their obedience to share that we know who you are now. We thank you for the people who shared the gospel with us and we pray for those who are hearing the gospel now that it would change their lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, everyone.